Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Face down. Get on the ground. Now. From all accounts, it's justice in action. Get on the ground. On the ground. Men caught red-handed soliciting minors over the internet. So what do you think we should start with? What are you thinking? Police department, get on the ground! Arrested after showing up for sex with an underage chat room pen pal. In this case, a decoy posing as a young boy or girl. Sexual predators arrived only to be taken down. I guess I'm under arrest, huh? Everything documented from every conceivable angle. You can have her open the door with the cat and try and wave him in. Yeah, you're going to have to come over here. It was the TV show Dateline NBC, doing what it had done in other cities across America, this time in the small town of Murphy, north of Dallas, just east of Plano. The operation went down at this house over four days in November. It included NBC Dateline, the Murphy police, and a group called Perverted Justice. Perverted Justice describes itself as being on the forefront of the crusade against Internet predators. We wanted to know who was working for whom. NBC pays Perverted Justice to run the chats. To catch a predator. The network gets good ratings from the show. Neighbors are taking pictures out there. But from the beginning, some members of the community were angry about the Sting's location and its purpose. They turned um, something good to catch the predators into just a reality show. Months later, some are still mad. Somebody's trying to make a name for themselves, and, and, and this is what happens. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This was not a direct police engagement. Um, I believe this was a, a television show that, that recruited some local police. As a law enforcement effort, the operation has had minimal results. Few of the alleged predators came from Murphy. News 8 has learned that five months later, there are no prosecutions in the case. Murphy police officers who were involved tell us evidence was poorly gathered. Paperwork botched. This after Murphy police were warned against the project. This letter obtained by News 8 under the Open Records Act shows that Collin County Assistant District Attorney Chris Milner was concerned about media involvement in the sting before it went down. The letter was a response to an inquiry from Murphy Police Chief Billy Myrick and a man named Frag, the Assistant Director of Perverted Justice. The letter was dated a few days before the operation. Milner said, Please understand that the Collin County District Attorney's Office has had no part and will take no part in the planning or execution of the sting operation. And finally, the letter said, the Collin County District Attorney's Office is in the law enforcement business, not show business. Immediately after the sting, Murphy City Manager Craig Sherwood released a statement to News 8. He said, we were not involved with the TV cameras or the sting house. Murphy police were there to make the arrests. But information obtained by News 8 indicates otherwise. Murphy residents and police say the police department helped Dateline find a location for the stings, even proposing one house which Dateline rejected. Murphy police gave Dateline total access to the police station, well, allowing no. NBC to I'm place sad. cameras in interview not. rooms. Police on the ground. And on Murphy ground. police may have actually worn a camera for NBC. Get on the ground. Take a look Get at this ground. shot from the Murphy show. A police officer's gun, most likely photographed with a body camera, is captured on tape. We asked NBC about it. Their response, we do not comment on the details of our news gathering. Well, then they're a prop. That's exactly what they are. They're an actor or a prop. My opinion is the TV people were using the police. Sam Love is a former Murphy police officer and was in the show. One of his concerns... Murphy police let NBC show evidence on TV before the cases went to court. It's all been released. So they're releasing it before the court cases come up? Yes. Is that putting the cart before the horse? I think so. The evidence itself is in question. It turns out some of the chatters were out of state, and that means some of the cases may not be valid in Collin County. It would have been nice if there had been a little more planning and preparation. Walter Weiss is another former Murphy police officer. After the TV crews left, his job was to make cases against those arrested. But he says he discovered Murphy officers did not follow a fundamental practice. They did not write arrest reports. Did the officers stick around and do paperwork? No, they had to go back into position to arrest another. It, well, the environment was fast-paced. 
Now the cases are stalled. Are you being made a fall guy in this whole deal? I feel that way sometimes. I honest to God do. I, I held no rank in the department. I had to put these cases together. I wasn't responsible for how the operation was planned or executed. There's a lot of political heat that came down on the chief of police. Because under Texas law, the Murphy Police Chief Billy Myrick made himself available for Dateline cameras. He even made an arrest on the air, but he declined to be interviewed by News 8. The outcome of the sting lingers, a suicide. The man who lived here, former Kaufman County Assistant District Attorney Bill Conrad, who killed himself after police knocked on his door. Maybe we could take some pictures of ourselves. Perverted justice chatters say he solicited a minor in an online chat with them. Murphy police then got a warrant to search his house in Terrell. But the search warrant obtained by News 8 was for the wrong city, Euless, not Terrell, and for July, not November. Weiss says the paperwork was a rush job. I strongly suspect they wanted to put a news camera in front of a house to record what they believe was a big fish being caught.